Okay, so I got some questions from some people about what the Goal Zero could run and if it could be used as a household kind of alternative energy source. So I have a Ninja blender which says it takes 1100 watts and the Goal Zero is supposed to do 1250. So I'm going to make a smoothie with frozen bananas, frozen blueberries, and some milk and see if the Goal Zero can run it. I'm going to take the blender down to the garage where the Yeti is because it's a lot easier to bring the Yeti up here. So right now the Yeti is 100% full and I am going to plug the blender in and we will try to run this. So I saw 780, 720s, 740 for watts, and in that short period of time, uh, well, the battery was saying it was down to 40%, but now if I look at it, it's back up to 80%. So I don't think it used 20%, but it certainly took it down from 100%. Now, I'm going to try something else. It would be really nice if I could take my shop vac out to the car, take the battery out to the car, and not run any extension cords. So right now that says 80% full, and I'm going to go start the shop vac. It looks like I took another 20% out. Now another thing I wonder about is our dehumidifier. It runs constantly because it's very humid where I live. It's going to be pretty interesting to see if this thing could run that. I know I can get 65, 70 watts out of my solar panels in the sunshine. Maybe more. We're going to test that too. And it's going to be really interesting to see how much this takes because if I could plug my solar panels in and run this constantly, I would definitely do it. We are at 80%. So the dehumidifier is taking 51 watts, but I don't think it's doing any dehumidifying right now. I think it's just a fan running. Okay, this has started dehumidifying and it is drawing a whopping 600, 590 something watts, 600 watts. So it hasn't been very long at all and we're down to 40% full. So what I want to do before this runs out is see how much my um, refrigerator takes. So the refrigerator is plugged in and it's drawing nothing at the moment. Okay, so the refrigerator finally kicked on and it's taking 142 watts. And we'll see how long it takes that, 139, 140. So my refrigerator has been running since 11, 11 a.m. It's 11.28, so that's 17 minutes. And most of the time it was at 130-ish watts, but it has suddenly jumped up to 253 watts. So I am guessing that the Yeti, because I can get 65 watts maybe for 12 hours of the day, one panel definitely would not keep up two. 120 watt panels might very well keep up if you get 65 watts out of each. Okay, it didn't take long to drain that down. It is 1216. I think it was 1136 or something when I started. I'm not exactly sure when this shut off, but the dehumidifier has shut off. So now that my battery's dead, I am going to see if these 120 watt solar panels under pretty bright sun do any better than the 65 watts. I had a very nice conversation with both the powerful products, product manager and the solar panel, Sierra Wave solar panel product manager after my last video. They were awesome, very unbelievable customer service. Uh, one thing he, the guy from the solar panel, Sierra Wave solar panels suggested was if the battery were dead, which I apparently am not gonna be able to get it fully drained down, would I get more than 65 watts uh, of input? Or, you know, is the Yeti, when it gets closer to full, limiting the amount of power that it outputs? So, 
Now the sun has gone in somewhat. Uh, it's behind some clouds, but the clouds are going to disappear in a second. So I am going to plug this in. And we're getting low watts, 10 watts. Once the clouds go by, it's almost high noon, so it's like 12.30. I could tilt the panels up a bit, but the sun's almost directly overhead. This is probably better than I can get them using the legs. Okay, we have an off and on kind of cloudy, sunny day. The most I've seen this get up to, there it is, 82 watts, 88 watts. So I think the theory might be legitimate about this thing limiting the input as it gets closer to being full. We do have a quite overcast, well, partly cloudy day or mostly cloudy day, I guess. And the amount of sun we're getting is, is quite variable, but that's the highest. Whoa, 91, 91, 90. Do you see that? Zero. How does that happen? 90. 90 watts. 78. So 90 is the highest I've seen. Doesn't stay there very long. 86, 90. I've never seen numbers like this when the battery's up near 80 or 100% full. So I do think there's some legitimate speculation that the battery circuitry is limiting the input and the solar panels are actually better than I thought they were. Uh, also, the solar panel guy told me that he was going to uh, get me better latches for this. The ones that, the ones that came on it weren't that great, and he, he was aware of that. So, um, anyway, pretty cool system. Definitely capable of running light loads, like in the 35 range that the cooler was, but certainly not very capable of running a shop vac for very long or a dehumidifier for very long. Your household refrigerator, possibly if you had two of these panels, might be able to run it indefinitely. But with just one of these panels that I have, probably couldn't run your household refrigerator indefinitely is my guess. Pretty cool system overall. I was very happy with the customer service people and from both companies. They were extremely nice on the phone and helpful. And the one guy from Powerful Products suggested I get an inverter for my car so that I could run the engine to charge the goal zero, even if there's no sunlight. I think that's probably the best idea. I thought about getting a second panel, but if there's no sunlight, you're out of luck. If you're out of power and you still want to run your refrigerator, you just hook it up, you just start running your car and have the inverter charge the Yeti. I'm gonna look into that and if I do that, I'll make another video. But thanks for watching. Hopefully this, hopefully this gives you some idea of the capabilities of the Goal Zero Yeti 1250 and the 120 watt solar panels that you can get from PowerfulProducts.com. And the guy from Powerful Products says, hey, how come you didn't put a link in your description to my website and the reason is I have an Amazon affiliate account and if you buy a Yeti 1250 from Amazon I get a commission and if you buy one from um, Powerful Products I don't so I will put a link to the Powerful Products website in the description this time as well as an Amazon link I do think Powerful Products has, has come up with a nice package here with the Goal Zero and the solar panels. And they have excellent customer service, so I think you can feel pretty good about buying one of these from PowerfulProducts.com. Also, I'm going to look into this, but the guy from Sierra Wave solar panels said that they have a different battery. This is an AGM battery, 100 amp AGM battery, which is not all that powerful in actuality. And they have a different product on their website. And I'm going to check that out. And when I do, I'll probably make a separate video about that. Thanks for watching. Bye.